baseball or what? It's it's not my story, but I played college baseball, so I I saw players like Calvin sort of go by the wayside once you jump from high school to college, and so it always stayed with me because a lot of these guys had their identities so wrapped up in being a baseball player. It's all I've wanted to do, and and just to see them have to walk away, it just kind of always stayed with me. Well, for me, the whole thing is more about the pursuit of a dream and um, the fulfillment that you have while doing that as being more important than the goal you're trying to reach. And for me, I've been trying to be an actor for seven, eight years now. Right. Um, and it's, you know, it's always like a, a constant struggle, but as it is with anybody in their goals and their lives, it's always going to be a constant struggle. But um, what was really great about this was that it was more about the quality of life that you get from pursuing your dreams as opposed to, you know, having everything happen instantaneously for you. And that I think is more beautiful. Right. As far as it being a sports movie, um, you know, it was something that we never really felt this was a sports movie. It was one of the hardest things to get the movie made was people wanted it to, you know, Calvin to get carried off the field and make the t college team. And that's sort of the way companies wanted to develop the story with us. And we just kept saying, no, it's not the movie we're trying to make. And so, but yeah, as far as the metaphor for anything, that was the theme was something more, you know, it's personal. It's like well, when you're trying to do something, when do you walk away from it? One thing is, I, I really liked what you said about um, this not being the traditional sports movie. In fact, in some ways, it's the anti-sports movie. It takes just the opposite turn that all those movies that we've seen so many of from Rocky mm -hmm. and before and after. And I thought that was really interesting and original because I'd never seen a story like that, or s certainly a sports story. And I really applaud that you, um, you know, you resisted the pressures to make it into that other story, which you could see how it could have taken a turn at some point like that. Yeah. And you just, you never went that way. And I thought that was really interesting because it was, it was fresh. Thanks. Yeah, we, we actually, um, at one point, developed the story with another company and it sort of went down a road that was more <laughs> conventional. And uh, I'm so glad it never materialized. It was very different. It was all in the research, really. That's what made it all the, all the different. It was uh, like the month leading up to it, probably, is when I kind of buckle down and focus in everything that I'm doing. And uh, this one was great because there's so much optimism and positive life th flowing throughout the story and the character that, you know, it kind of boosted my morale on the, on the set and everything. So, um, I mean, each role is completely different, but uh, this one was, was one of the more fun ones that I've ever done. And uh, I don't know. Also, just playing, ba like, Alex wasn't a baseball player, and so yeah. there was, was there, we had a month where we had a pro work with him, and I wanted him to get as good as he possibly could get, so it was somewhat plausible he could make the team, or else it would have turned into, like, a, a more over-the-top comedy, and we didn't want that. So we, I wanted it to look like he could play high school baseball well, but not be good enough for college. And uh, I think we succeeded. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's all better. I came off the DL and hasn't acted up since. Thanks for asking. I appreciate that. Chris Little is a terrific character in this movie. Um, and I was wondering if that, uh, that was a culmination of a lot of coaches that you've come in contact with. Uh, it's, a, it's a good question. I've played for a lot of great coaches um, in college and in high school, and, and I never wanted it to be a, a, like a mean portrait of a coach because they're so passionate. But then there's sort of the, the Bobby Knight sort of old school way of coaches handling players that sort of steps over the line of, is this appropriate, you know, because, um, you know, crazy things happen on teams. And, and you know, we pushed it a little bit. I don't know if a coach ever throw a ball into someone's back like that, but <laughs> it, was, it was so funny that we just, uh, we left it in. Um, and, you know, I think, Bitterness, I think, like seeing Calvin such an optimist and then seeing Coach Little as sort of the polar opposite. Like when we worked with Steve, I was like, you know, wherever you go, you're carrying around that bitterness with you. It's, it's always on you. You're always feeling it. And, and um, it, yeah, I, I think it's a great performance. I love how it, it, it sort of holds Calvin's character in check the whole movie in, in a weird way.
Uh, not really Steve. Steve kind of just showed up and we just went to it. But um, I got to work with Michelle a lot beforehand and, uh, and of course, oh, hang out with Gary. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, you know, the, the Calvin Torrey stuff had to work in my mind. And so we, we really wanted Alex and Michelle to be out there at least. I think we had four days together where they were comfortable with each other, they knew each other. We just didn't want to throw them into a relationship on the first day because the first few days of shooting was all their stuff, Alex and Michelle. And so that was critical. Um, most often, though, there's no rehearsal on movies. You just have to do it while you're there. The actors show up and you start going right there. Mm. My philosophy has always been trust the actor. You know, Don't ever limit them or get in their way. But then at the same time, you have to they have to trust you, so you have to show a certain amount of what, you have to communicate what you want and whether it's working or not and sort of be a mirror for them. Um, it was tough, there was a lot, it was a big ensemble, so there are a lot of different personalities as director that in each person's different, each person likes to be directed different. And so you just kind of have to um, adjust to each person a little bit. <coughs> Working with Gary was really, really, really cool. Um, we didn't really have a lot of rehearsal time. The only time that we spent rehearsing was mostly me and Michelle to fine tune the scenes that we wanted. Um, but Gary sort of understood that the most important part about establishing the relationships in the film is to establish the relationships off the set. So as a director actor sort of thing, since we were together pretty much every single day, um, Gary and I and the whole crew kind of became like a little family that looked after each other for the period that we were shooting together. And the times that I got to spend on screen uh, shooting with the other actors, we'd already established the relationships outside. And so it was easier to go in and just sort of get our work done. Because we both, we all trusted each other and it wasn't like a, it wasn't a stranger's kind of thing where you have to establish a relationship on, like immediately on set. We all knew each other beforehand by just making that extra effort to get in contact and to establish that connection. Yeah, it was important that we were, it's such a short amount of time shooting a movie. I mean, this was 25 days and, you know, you think about all of the um, camera, I mean, I think we had 1,200 camera setups in the movie and shooting 35 and all the sports stuff is, is can be a nightmare to shoot to get, get it right, you know, because there's so many moving parts. So we made sure that everyone got along. That's what we wanted. We hired very carefully, um, <coughs> great crew. Great cast, and so it was. It was like a. It was like Kukaloris for five weeks, kind of where you shoot all day and then stay out all night. And we're thinking about core audiences we can market to, and former athletes is a big one. It's hard to know how to target former athletes out there in the world, but um, we've had some ex pros. You know, we've actually had some guys that were in the minor leagues never made it to the big leagues see the movie, and they they were just crushed at the end of the movie, like. Um, because they live these lives so in, in some form, you know. A lot, a lot of these guys are coaching now, or they're scouts, or they're running, co you know, um, baseball schools, and and they're all great people. Um, and it it uh, it definitely affects, seems to affect them the most. Um, which was is kind of the point, I hope. You know, and and then the other thing is, I think everyone hopefully relates on some level because no one's life turns out like exactly the way they want.